Right, Craig, you've been out for just over a month now, haven't you, with the ankle injury. How is it? It's getting better. It's been, um, it's been frustrating, but it's getting better. Um, possibly train tomorrow, and um, hopefully next week I'll be in contention. So, yeah, it's, I'm happy now. Yeah, but before that, you've got something big happening off the pitch. Tell me, tell me what's going on. Yeah, um, I've got my first, my first little one. Um, me and my missus over the moon about it. Um, she was due last Friday. Uh, baby's being stubborn. She's late. Um, so yeah, it'll be this weekend. Uh, yeah. Did you know if it's a boy or a girl yet? Or? Yeah, it's a little girl. It's a little girl. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, so I'm over the moon with that, really. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, congratulations on that. And um, so hopefully you can get that out of the way this weekend, celebrate the arrival of you, your daughter, and then back, get back playing again, which I'm sure is what you want more than anything else at the moment. Yeah, I'd like to celebrate my, my daughter and a win for the boys as well, because it'll be nice. Um, but yeah, I just want to get back playing. It's been frustrating. It's been four weeks now, um, and it is a six-week injury, so I am ahead of schedule. But I've never been out this long before. Really get into touch with. And, um, I, just, I just want to be back playing and just being back in contention. And if I can get back on the team, I'll be happy. But I'm just going to keep working hard, and I have been, so hopefully I can get back in. Yeah, it was just after you actually signed permanently. You only played a couple of games and then you got injured, didn't you? So frustrating to have that so early on in your Chelsea career. That's what I mean. I remember talking to you uh, a few weeks back saying uh, what I want to do. I mean, nothing's on hold. Thank God it's not uh, a major injury which has set me out for the whole season, but it was a bad injury. And if it wasn't for Wes and Ian, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be back now. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to being back and hopefully I can just push on and I feel stronger as well, so I've got a good feeling about coming back now. So. Yeah. You sort of twisted it on the outside, didn't you? So tore the inside. Was it on the inside, yeah, right? The inside, so you tore a ligament, yeah. and, uh, which is um, it's, it's rare to do the inside of your ankle. Um, but what it was, as I went to a challenge, uh, guy kicked through, and my ankle went the opposite way. So it was quite a bad injury. Um, so to get back within four weeks slash five weeks, everyone said it was quite good. So it's got to push on that. Yeah. What's your rehab? What sort of stuff have you been doing to get back a bit quicker than, than planned than, you, than most people would do? Not had a day off. Um, uh, I've um, been working one on one with um, Ian and obviously with Wezo as well. I've been working one on one. I mean, honestly, Wezo's put so much into like, getting me fit. He's worked with me every day. He's come in early with me, and I mean, like, I've got to thank him because he's, um, he's helped me. Because I was at a bad place getting injured just after Simon. And uh, Wezo's been, it's been easy to speak to Wezo. And um, yeah, so it has been frustrating, but without Ian and Wes, I wouldn't really be back right now, so I'm thankful for them too. Yeah, you actually tried to carry on when he first did it, but did you know pretty much straight away it was going to be an nasty one? Yeah, um, actually I didn't because I've never done an injury like that before, so I was, I was hoping it would wear off, but it didn't. And, um, I just knew as soon as I, I made like two runs and I actually put no weight on it, I actually thought it was broken. So, you know what I mean? To hear it was my ankle ligaments. It was all my knee, really. So, yeah, I did try and yeah. I knew it was a bad one. So, it could have been a lot worse when you first went through your head about how painful it was, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, yeah. honestly, I couldn't put any weight on my ankle. Um, and I know it was silly of me to be like, still trying to get on with the game because obviously it put us in a bit of a predicament but I just want to play football and I was heartbroken that that happened literally a week after I signed the contract um, but I mean I'm smiling now I should be back next week so just, just about looking forward now yeah you actually went out with quite a, you know you, West Ham was one of your worst last games wasn't it you actually played quite well there just before, just before Barry, so you, did you feel like you were, you were in decent form before you got the injury? It's, it's so funny, I was saying it to Wizzo, like, as I got injured that, that week I actually felt like I was actually 100% fit. I said I didn't feel any niggles, any pains, I was on a high from the West Ham game, I know we lost but I mean I took a lot of positives from that. And it's funny because even like the gap will move past me and he'll be like, oh you're back from West Ham again. So like everyone's still thinking West Ham was my last game, it was actually very but I mean I done well in the West Ham game and I just felt like I was just keeping on them. But I feel stronger, I feel fitter now. 
So I think we're going to uh, kick on now so and see what happens. Yeah, there's still a long way to go this season. So we'll, even though you wouldn't have chosen to have a rest, at least you've got plenty of games left still to make a mark. That's exactly what I said to myself. My missus said it as well. It's better it happen now than near the end of the season. Um, and I just hope that this is it for me, really, in, injury-wise. And um, I'm just going to keep working hard to keep strengthening my ankle, strengthening other parts of my body. Um, yeah, hopefully it's going to have a good season. Yeah, what's the atmosphere like now in the camp? Because it was much better on Saturday, wasn't it? She needed that win, even though it came late. It probably might have helped even lift the mood even more. <laughs> Boys are buzzing, buzzing around, man. Um, yeah, everyone's smiling. We've always been together anyway, no matter what. That's one thing I can say. Yeah. There's never been an argument or a fight between players. Um, so, really, I'm like... The atmosphere has been, it's been buzzing because obviously a win helps, but it hasn't been much different really, so it has been, everyone's walking around with a smile, so it has been a nice atmosphere to be Yeah, so just finish on the baby, she's going to be born in London, but then she'll be, will she be moving up with your girlfriend? Oh yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah, she's got to come up, I've got to see my little one, um, and yeah, it should be December is the latest that she will be here, which is Monday, so... Yeah, all the best for that. Congratulations. Yeah.